Thank you, Chair. Um, Representative O'Neill, um, I'm just wondering, are there, I, as a union member for a long time, and I've also gotten an opportunity to work in, in the private sector, um, and I just, I don't, I'm, I'm curious to know if, if you know of any employer that has um, a provision where they decrease pay for employees, I'm just, I, I find that a little um, strange, and so I just wanted to know where that thought comes from, and if you know, if 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 you know where um, an employer gets, an employee gets their pay decreased. Representative O'Neill. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, well, I was a business owner. Uh, I recently sold my share, so I don't own it anymore. But there are plenty of businesses out there, especially those that depend on employees' pro productivity. Like I was in the trades. So I owned a company that was a tile setting company. And if we didn't get out there and do the work, and if I didn't have highly productive employees, they were paid based on their productivity. So if they, um, if they had issues, it is very possible that their pay would reflect those issues if they were on um, probation for something, for some sort of violation, that could be coordinated with a pay reduction. It's something that businesses do uh, all the time, um, and it could be the step before someone is actually fired. So uh, it's, it's, it's an important thing, and it's, it's, it gets people's attention you know, when they see it in their paycheck that their performance does not meet the standard. Representative Omar. I, 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 Hudson, I think, might. Did you have something? Madam Chair. Mr. Hudson? Was there a question for Mr. Hudson? Representative no, I think Omar? he was saying that he wanted to add something, so I didn't know if he had something to add. Mr. Hudson, the, is, is there a response to the question? Do you have a response to that question? Madam Chair, yes, ma'am. you saying that you aren't aware of any businesses that uh, decrease pay? Because that was the question. Madam Chair, I think. What Chair O'Neill perhaps could be referring to, there are some instances where the pay structure is different. So for an example, she had indicated that she had come out of the towel industry. I'm not sure if these were commissioned employees who may have been on like an 80-20 split. In that instance, there is a situation where a pay might be reduced. Or if we have a supervisor who perhaps had a performance improvement issue, or a behavioral concern, and we demoted this supervisor, that is an instance where pay might be decreased. But just an employee uh, who has not been under some sort of performance and program, having their pay reduced, I've never heard of that. Well, Mr. Uh, Hudson, I think Representative Neal knows exactly what she says. And I think we've had a, a little conversation back here when the question was asked. I know Representative Uglem, do you want to speak to that point? Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, Representative Omar, um, if you happen to be a salesman in this world, uh, and you can be selling cars, you could be selling siding, uh, you could be selling just about anything, and you are paid on commission. Mm -hmm. So if you don't sell anything, you don't make anything. So uh, you can have good years, you can have bad years. Uh, probably really one of the best examples is a real estate agent. So uh, it's the idea that um, uh, people can, can make less money year to year, not to mention all the bonus situations that are out there in industry. Um, it happens, it happens a lot. Uh, it doesn't necessarily happen, you know, here in the public sector, but, but it's pervasive and very, very common in the private sector. Thank you. And I'd like um, to add that in the private sector as well, people, if they are not performing at their job, get demoted, and with that demotion comes a pay cut. And that's not even related to being in a commission position, that's just in a regular position as well. Representative yeah. Omar. Um, I think a, 
a commission, the position is very different than what we are discussing today. Um, and and I, I, Representative Omar, I mentioned the fact that it's not just limited to commission. It's also for anybody that is demoted. So you can be in a regular job, not part of a commission situation, mm -hmm. but if you're failing to perform, you'll get demoted and then you get a pay cut with it. So I just want to make sure that that's clear. So I know Representative O'Neill has yeah. that experience having owned a business. And mm -hmm. so I think she was speaking to that. <laughs> the 